Good morning everyone, or afternoon, or good evening, or good middle of the night, whenever you watch this. I've got another unboxing. By the way, I hope you're all doing okay. Hope your day's gone well, or going well, or if it's first thing in the morning, have an amazing day. I have a little, what's well, it's not little, well it's not massive, I got an unboxing, it's from my protein. I ordered this either Friday night or Saturday, and it arrived Monday, like, five six o'clock ish and i keep getting emails well i get emails all the time from my protein and i ignore the majority of them but it said it was up to 80 percent off and it mentioned a product that i needed to buy because it had run out and i was like i'll go on and have a look see if it's cheap enough i mean it wasn't like cheap anyway because it's not a cheap product um and I'll see if I want to get it. And I ended up spending around 30 plus £4 shipping, which kills me because normally my protein have free shipping when there's offers on. And normally there's a minimum spend of either 20 or 25 And I think the minimum spend was 40 And I'm like, I'm not spending 40 to get shipping. But then again, I would only have to... No, oh, no. Anyway, I was just trying to like justify it to myself. I'm like, no, you're not spending 40 You don't need to spend 40 just to get free shipping. But I do hate when big companies like my protein put a ridiculous thing on that you had to spend 40 or maybe it was 50 but i think it was 40 when normally it's 20 or 25 so the the only reason i paid the shipping was because i wanted the product desperately because as i said i'd run out and i needed to replace it and it ran out like a week or two ago like week and a half maybe two maximum so i had to replace it and I don't think I've ever had my protein version of this, so anyway. Here is the next main item. Oh, it's going to have to be on a slant. I can't be bothered holding it. I've got arm ache. I don't know what I've been doing with my arms. So this is the Impact Whey Protein. It has got 102 calories per serving. Naturally... Oh god, I can't even read that. Occurring BCAAs and 20 grams of protein. So I got the flavour cinnamon danish. Normally if I get a protein, I stick to vanilla or strawberry. Because I like to add things to protein shakes like bananas or strawberries or blueberries, blackberries, etc. I don't always, but I'd say 90% of the time I add something. If it's not a berry, it will be a banana. So I was looking at the flavour list and I was like oh god I don't know what to get because normally I'm pretty basic with my vanilla or my strawberry mainly strawberry because strawberry is really good in a protein shake I haven't had vanilla in ages like the last quite few lots of protein that I've bought have been strawberry and I've been getting the same brand but and I was going to get the same brand again and I was going to go on where I get it from and get it but I keep forgetting so I started to read the reviews to see, because you know some people will be like, I've had this flavour and it was horrible, but I had this flavour and it was quite nice, and then this flavour was amazing. So there was hundreds of hundreds of reviews, which obviously I weren't going to sit and like read them all. And I read quite a few, and then I came across this very long review, and this person said they tried all the flavours, they talked about like what the whey protein did for them, how it helped them, etc., and then they started to talk about the flavours. Now, they didn't talk about them all. I don't know if they ran out of space or they didn't think they wanted to mention them all. And they mentioned ones that they didn't like and ones that were okay. And then they got onto Cinnamon Danish, which they said is their current favourite. And they basically couldn't get enough of it. And I was like, right, sold, I'm getting that. Because all the other reviews were very conflicting. Everyone seemed to like a different flavour. And there was not any two ones that said the same flavour was the best and I wanted to like basically get loads of reviews that said buy this flavour but there wasn't so I went with cinnamon danish a because I love cinnamon swirls, cinnamon buns, cinnamon anything but even before I checked out I was like I can't put strawberries in that I mean I probably could I, I just don't know if it would taste amazing but I'll probably give it a go I feel like the only thing I can really put in is a banana but I could be wrong, I could put loads of berries in and it could be amazing, but I typically wouldn't, but that's what I was thinking anyway. 
I love a nice cinnamon flavour, so I've got it, but I can't imagine it be something I want every day. I used to have protein shakes every day, like there'll be a period from maybe April to September where I'll have one daily, except for the odd day where I'll have something else. But when I was thinking about getting a new protein, I was like, I'm not going to have it every day because protein's quite expensive. Now, this bag is a kilogram and it was £18 on offer. I think it was nearly 30 without the offer. So, I don't think... I'm going to be having it every day and all the more you buy the cheaper it gets like five kilograms and stuff but I don't don't believe I would get five kilograms of cinnamon danish because I think I would get bored of it so I'm not gonna have it every day because I do like other bits and pieces but there's days when I'm like I definitely need a load of protein so that's for those days I won't be having it today because I don't have any bananas um, but I'll be having something else that I'm about to show you so after I got that, I started to look through to see what I could add to my order because I didn't want to spend £4 shipping and just get one item. So I came across the Impact Diet Way. Now the one that I've been using all last year, maybe some of the year before, was a Diet Way strawberry flavoured by USC or UCS or something like that. Really liked it, it was really filling, kept me full, gave me loads of energy. It was strawberry flavoured, it was really nice. I got the two kilogram tub last time. Oh, was it bigger? I can't remember, but it was a really big tub. It lasted me ages. I went off it around September time and started having it again maybe a month ago because it was still in date. And then I ran out and I was going to replace it with the same one. So I saw that it was diet way and I was like, oh, well, the, the one I use all the time is diet, so I'll get this one. I would prefer the diet one because it's less calories. So if I do like this one, when I do run out of them both, I'll probably get the diet one. There's not as many flavours in diet. And I went for natural vanilla because I wanted something very plain that I could just put whatever I wanted in it. Now, vanilla, I haven't had vanilla protein shakes in ages other than pre-made ones that I buy every now and then. So it might turn out that I might prefer strawberry. So apparently it's got 37 grams of protein. Now, I don't know if that's per serving. If it is, then that's another reason to have the diet one. It's got 119 milligrams of chlorine and 560 mill 62 milligrams of CLA. So I got the 250 gram pouch and it was about, I don't know how much it was, like £4, £5. Then I got a box of these when they came out. I got the brownie ones, really, really nice. I got a six pack. Protein bars are never amazing. Sometimes they are hard to eat. Sometimes I can only eat half and I have to come back to the other half later. They're very filling. They're quite... It's like a stodgy texture, but it is. It's like a really heavy texture. Um, there's some protein bars better than others. Now, I was going to get the chocolate brownie ones, but then I spotted peanut butter, and I do like a peanut butter-flavoured product. Not all of them are good, so I'm hoping this is good because they're, they're not cheap to buy when the full price I believe these were about eight pounds anyway so even with a discount they're not very cheap but I'm hoping they're good fingers crossed these will last me ages because I'll probably have one just to try them out and then I'll have one every time like I really really tired or I'm going to do something that needs a lot of energy so they'll probably last me a good month and then the final item was actually a freebie if you spent £10. I didn't realise this till I was checking out and it was in my basket. I'm like, why is that there? And I'm like, realised it was free. Um, every order over £10, you get a free shaker. Now, I have a couple. I have one with a pink lid and it's a small one. And then I have a large one. And I believe they're probably both my protein. But they don't look good. Like, they're clear and they just look cheap. This looks really nice. So I can imagine that I would use this and take it out. But I was planning on getting a protein shaker and last time I made an order I almost bought one I was like I'm not paying I think it was seven pounds the one I wanted so I got this for free but typically when I do my protein shakes if I do put fruit in they go in my Nutri bullet so Nutri blender bullet I think it's a blend Nutri -Bend blender so that was free I got the impact bar in peanut butter I've got the, the impact diet whey in natural vanilla which I'm having today because I don't have banana. If I had banana, I'd have the cinnamon one. But I have no bananas in. But I have loads of berries in. And then I've got the cinnamon Danish one. I don't know when this video is going up. I'm filming it Tuesday morning. It may go up today. It may not. But if you want to know anything about it, what I thought about the products, if I've tried them, I can let you know. So feel free to send me a DM. 
and that's everything in my order. I can now shut up and go and have something to eat. Have a great day.